the march of at least 10,000 people had moved down from the Cragen estate through the bog side, close to the center of the town, where it was to be blocked by barricades, barbed wire, and troops. the march was completely orderly. <coughs> 1,500 soldiers and 500 police had been moved into Londonderry for the day to prevent the anti-internment protesters marching into Guildhall Square in the centre of Londonderry to hold their rally. The general officer commanding land forces was 100 yards behind the army barriers to supervise the operation to prevent the Stormont government's ban on marches being broken. Soon after the confrontation at the barricades began, the first bottle was thrown. Some demonstrators attempted to remove the barricade, but for the most part, they were held back by stewards pledged to a non-violent march. As the stone started flying, the army brought up a water cannon using purple dye, just after a gas canister went off on the barricade. Both sides claim that the other used the gas. Some of the crowd fell back towards the bog side. But several hundred youths stayed put and began to pelt the troops with missiles. At this stage, the army hit back with rubber bullets. 